All right, today we're looking at what's known as part variation. So, and when we read the thing part variation, it's got various parts that are added. So that's different to joint variation where they were uh, things were multiplied when it was jointly. So now it's added. So um, so something like uh, say for example, the y varies partly as x and partly fixed. It might be something like this, y is proportional to uh, x plus b, which of course then would translate to y equals kx plus b. So it's got the variable part and the fixed part. Um, parts don't necessarily have to be fixed, um, although that's kind of the most common. Um, but let's have a look at an example where we do have a fixed part. So, um, example might be so, something like your t telephone bill. So, your telephone bill um, is two parts. First, you, know, you pay the the line rental, so that's a fixed line rental. So, that's a fixed charge. Um, and that, you know, doesn't vary depending on how many calls you make. Um, so that might be 32. They may have included calls in it, but, you know, you pay that whether you use that hole or not. Um, and we're just going to simplify things. And then you, you'll have something like a call charge. Oops. Let's get rid of that. Call charge. And uh, so, for example, again, I'm just going to keep it keep it simple um, and in this case we don't know what the call charge is so we'll just call it C. So for example um, if you made say 296 calls uh, cost total cost of um, so $106, um, and then um, we've got to have a look at how much um, various things are. And so, for example, what's each co cost, and then we can make a few uh, other calculations if we want. So we'll find, find first of all, the equation of the variation. Okay, so if our bill, let's call that A, for example, is proportional to the call charge plus our fixed $32, so our bill is equal to K times call charge plus $32, and putting in the thing, information that we know, Um, now that K, of course, these are the number of calls that we make. So, so K is calls. K is the number of calls. Um, so we get that $106 is equal to 296 times our call charge plus $32, our fixed charge. All right, so there's various different ways that we can go ahead and solve that, but when we do, we find that our call charge is $0.25. All right, so now that we've found that, we can do a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, and for part B... We will have a look at using that to calculate some other stuff. 
So in B, the charge, say for 300 calls. Okay, so our charge, the amount we're going to get charged is our number of calls, K, times our call charge, which we now know 0.25, plus our $32 um, fixed charge. We'll get rid of that now. All right. And, of course, we've got 300 calls that we've made, so 300 times 0.25 plus 32 comes out to be... and seven dollars when 300 calls are made okay I mentioned before that the part variation doesn't have to necessarily be fixed although that is the most common so when you get in taxis you know you get what's called the flag fall we get charged that straight away um, so here's an example so page uh, 256 Example um, 17 is an example of that. It says variable y varies as the sum of. So variable y varies as the sum of two quantities. One varies directly as x, and the other inversely, inversely remember, 1 over x squared. All right, so that would be what that is. Now you've got we here, here we've got two things that variations. So we end up now with two constants. So we end up with y equals a a x plus b on x squared. That's what we now end up with. Um, we didn't have to worry about that when the thing's fixed. Fixed is fixed. Fixed doesn't change, remember. Okay, so that's what we've got there. Now, we're told um, that when x is equal to 1, um, y is negative 17, and the other thing we're told is when x is equal to um, 2, y is equal to 1. So we can get two um, equations from this. So the first equation that I'll write, I'll write using this information. So using that information, negative 17 is equal to a times 1 plus b over 1 squared. So negative 17 equals a plus b equation 1. We can write another equation using this information and when we do that we get that 1 equals a times 2 plus b over 2 squared and so 1 equals 2a plus b over 4. There's equation um, 2 for us. Um, so simultaneous equations that we can um, do, look at there, so we might multiply this one here by 4, so you get 4 equals 8a plus b, um, and then you know work from that, call that equation 3, equation 3, take equation 1, or of course you can use your calculator to figure it out for you. Okay, so when you do that, I'm not going to go through all of those bits and pieces. If you have trouble, give me a yell when we've finished, and um, I'll come over and work through that. But you get A equals 3 and B equals minus 20. So I'm working on the assumption here that you um, can figure out these things. So part A, we were asked to find the equation of y in terms of x, so our equation will be y equals 3x minus 20 over x squared.
squared for our equation. Alright, so let us then look at part B. And part B, let me use another colour here. Uh, and part B says find y when x is, is 5. So y is 3 times 5 minus 20 over 5 squared. Get our calculator out to do that. And we get 14. Two. Okay, which is now, some people might say, no, you said before you've got an exact answer. This particular question 14.2 is the exact answer. Um, because it actually comes out to uh, 14 and uh, 2 and 2 tenths. And 2 tenths, of course, is 0.2. Okay, so there is part variation, and so that is question set number six, and you've got the questions for that on your sheet.